one of those uh, career momentum changes. I remember coming here first time in 2010. Didn't know where what to expect. Uh, came the day before and um, played a quick, quick 18 holes. And just, oh, this is so narrow. And uh, but for some reason I liked it, and it was a little bit hit and miss in my career because I didn't have much money left. So in the end, winning this event meant a lot to both have a full status on the Asian tour and. Uh, also financial um, and then obviously the second uh, win came later in that year um, just uh, after a great finish in Singapore where it kind of just boosts me I think to the next level to feel like I, I really become a better golfer so that was the, the I, what those two wins uh, meant to me and that's yeah, the, the biggest, you know, for my career. Started a little bit slow, two over. Um, tried a little bit too hard the first day. Uh, second day, I just let it go a little bit more. Uh, hit a lot of fairways and, you know, stayed patient and a few putts slipped in and all of a sudden it's 67. And I, if I just putted a little bit better, it could have been lower. And if, was definitely out there. Uh, today, a little bit tougher conditions. We had some more wind and uh, same there again. Um, when the greens are this hard, it's like now when the greens are so more on a tier and you have the undulation is bigger to get up on top. Uh, it could be very tricky sometimes. So uh, there you have to be a little bit more patient than I was. I tried to get close, I tried to hit just the perfect shot and that damaged my day a little bit. I shot plus one, still in there for a decent result, but I felt if I just stayed patient, and just more went for middle of the green, I, I probably, you know, pretty easily would have shot at like a minus three. So, uh, uh, learning thing for me, uh, but it's one day left to go. So we're trying to shoot a low score and uh, we hope for uh, uh, at least a top 10. course it's playing uh, a bit tougher now than it did back in the days because of the more uh, tiered greens and uh, I I would say still the greens haven't like the root system haven't really developed deep so you kind of it feels like you don't have you would like a little bit more thatch so you could get a little bit more stop on the ball they rock hard now uh, so it's very hard to get spin on the ball uh, which is uh, which is a good element though, um, because it's a classic course, you need something that makes it tougher and they haven't gone crazy wild, but still you stop it this uh, sufficient from still being a, a venue for a professional event. So the redesign has been great. It's, it's been good. I won Italian Open, so I have one tournament uh, won there. Um, and uh, but I think like mainly the journey on the Asian tour was very good for me to become like step by step a better player. So when I came out there, I really played well and did some good tournaments in world events. Um, so um, that has been really good. Unfortunately, I got infection. I got. I fell out of play for almost one and a half years or even more actually um, but when I came back I did pretty well uh, unfortunately now when I try to take the the golf to the next level I kind of maybe try too many new stuff at the same time and that kind of made me lose my card last year on the DP World Tour European Tour uh, but it's one of those, you have to lose a bit to win some. So uh, uh, feeling now, I played great yesterday with a 67 here and the new changes on Delhi Golf Club. And um, yeah, it just feels and there was a little bit of a receipt that showing that I'm doing the right things again. One of 
the best is definitely here when I chipped in during the Indian Open there, right side of the green. Um, I remember it, it was a it was a tough day, tough stretch coming in, and I'm, I flew the green over, uh, dropped in the drop zone in the Bermuda rough, and just hit a perfect uh, little lob shot, which just uh, went straight in the hole. So. And then it was the end of story. Then no one had a chance to catch me. And doing that on the final hole is just the things you dreamed of when you were a kid. Uh, you know, you were a kid saying to yourself, oh, this one is to win this and that and whatever. And when you actually do that in that kind of sense, uh, you, you, you feel really proud and, uh, and just happy uh, about yourself. My dream four ball, uh, of course Tiger Woods is there, um, uh, you know I got a lot into gardening so it's like some, some British uh, gardening people, um, uh, I don't know if you know the name of them but uh, um, basically that and I think the third person would be my wife uh, Pernilla. I got into lawn care and gardening a lot, so that's uh, my passion. Uh, so I love the flowers, the dahlias we have around here. And um, yeah, now the, in Sweden it's been winter, so no garden to really take care of. So I'm looking forward to the summertime now to start uh, doing it nice at home.